This program is sponsored by Tip Top Sun Blessed, goodness that helps them shine. Good on your mum, Tip Top's the one, good on your mum. Roving reporter Pete Smith here with a question. What is your favourite 7 o'clock TV show? Let's ask a few people. Excuse me, sir, what is your favourite... Damn this war, Grace. Damn this war. What's your favourite 7 o'clock TV show? Speak when you're spoken to, Smith. Talk about the young doctors. Excuse me, what's your favourite... Oh, seven never mind that. Open wide. Excuse me, sir, what's your favourite 7 o'clock TV show? Look what I'm doing to my delicatessen. It will be the greatest thing ever. It will change people's lives. <laughs> what are you going to do? I'm going to have the sale of the century. Tonight, we proudly present the Battle of the TV Classics on Sale of the Century. And now, here for Heat One, please welcome Glenn Rich. Thanks very much, Pete. Hi, again. Hi. Hello and welcome to Sale, our Battle of the TV Classics. We've got a lot of fun lined up for the next six nights. It's going to be a whole heap of fun and some familiar faces for you too. Four legendary Australian TV series is going to be represented. The Sullivans, Number 96, Prisoner, and also Young Doctors. So, as I say, some familiar faces. The format's going to be four heats, each representing one of the classic shows. And the four heat winners go into a two-night final. Now, each of our celebs are playing for a viewer. And the ultimate prize for one lucky viewer is going to be the fabulous Audi 80 2.6. And it's valued at nearly $50,000. So there's a lot at stake. It's going to be a lot of fun. And our grand final starting on Friday night, finishing on Monday night. Now, we do have one of the all-time classic Australian TV series represented first. But to tell us who's playing, please welcome Nikki Buckley. to see nice you. Nice to see you too, Esme. Oh, so, yes. uh, don't, uh, there's a problem here. Um, mm. This isn't a country practice. Wandon oh. Valley, uh, the bus leaves just out the front in about five minutes' time. Oh. So, well, you see, I was ill. I have been ill, but I, I, all these lovely doctors... You're looking well. You're looking Yes, better, just down I'm the yes. corridor. You're, it'll right. be all right. Just oh. down the corridor and the bus will be leaving I'd in five rather minutes. Stay. Yeah, no, 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 it's fine. Nice, oh, to, nice right. to see you again. Lovely. Look after yourself. Oh. Oh dear, I love your dress. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, What's going on? Well, I'm not sure. I thought I'd struck it lucky there for a while. Oh, There's May from a country <laughs> practice. How are you? Nice, to, nice to see you. Everyone? A lot of fun. Um, I'm a bit excited. Those TV series. Well, they're faces who I'm sure you're going to recognise, and they're very, very clever people too. They were telling me earlier. They're some of my favourites on tonight. Okay. <laughs> Who's playing tonight? The Sullivans. Yes. Okay. Well, our first contestant graced the small screen in the 70s as the warm-hearted mother figure, Grace Sullivan. After suffering a grisly war death in London, she then moved into a lead role in the series Carson's Law. Please welcome everyone's favourite mum, Lorraine Bailey. Hello, Lorraine. Hello. With five silver Logie awards for his role as Dave, the trusty father upholding the Sullivan home front, our second contestant has taken some time away from the pub to join us tonight. More recently renowned for his handyman tips as the Mitre 10 man, please welcome the hard-wearing Paul Cronin. Hello, Paul. Now, remembered for her sweet and spoilt antics as Kitty Sullivan, our next contestant went on to, the fashion, to fashion her way into the LA design scene. She's the creative genius behind the stunning outfits on The Bold and the Beautiful. Here to prove she's the smart baby of the family, let's welcome Susan Hannaford. Hello, Susan. <laughs> and our final contestant played the dutiful son of Dave and Grace, John Sullivan. After fighting his World War II land battle, he then became seabound as the captain in Patrol Boat. Many will also remember him as the high-flying Tom Callahan in The Flying Doctor. Please welcome Andrew McFarlane. Hello, Andrew. Nice to have you with us also. Lorraine. Yes, Lynn. What are you up to at the moment? Well, I recently finished Arthur Miller's play, The Last Yankee, and pardon me, and I'm currently touring Australia now in a, a play called Mixed Emotions, which is um, a love story and a comedy, and it's got some deeper moments as well. And I believe your tap dancing's improved a lot. I had to do a little tap dance in The Last oh. Yankee, yes, and I loved it. It was great. Oh, good, baby. <laughs> good luck tonight, Lorraine. Thank Hope you. Hope you go well. Thank have you. Fun. Now, Paul, we've been seeing you more and more lately in lots and lots of commercials, and Mitre 10 has been running for six years. I don't know what commercials you've been watching. Oh, no, but anything. the ones that you've done, like the, the commercials have All gone right. on for years and years, haven't they? Well, uh, yes, I worked for Mitre 10 for seven years. Seven. And then decided to join them with uh, our own store. 
At, uh, am I allowed to say where it is? Oh, oh sure. Sure. All over Australia, come down to Doveton, 26 Princess Highway, mates rates. Yep, oh, the mates rates. <laughs> Good luck, Paul. Thank tonight. you. Thank you. Nice to have you with us. And Susan, nice to have you too. Thank you, Glenn. Now, we talked about the fashion side. That took you over to America. But you also did some acting. Tell us a story. Uh, well, I was uh, asked to provide the clothing for The Bold and the Beautiful. We did a fabulous collection. And the producers, we launched the show over here uh, as well in Australia for them. And uh, then they asked me to act in the show as well. So they flew me back to America and I've been uh, jetting backwards and forwards for the last few years. Fabulous. And the fashions are going really well for you? Yes, in Rodea Drive in Beverly Hills. So there you go. When you're downtown Beverly Hills, make sure you drop <laughs> yeah, in there. Yeah, I wish I could wear some of them. <laughs> good luck tonight, Susan. Yeah, Thank good luck. You. Now, Andrew, tell us, you've just finished doing a series that's going to be seen soon on the Nine Children's Network. Children's series called Spellbind Down. And so what did you play? The Nine Network. I played a kind of an absent-minded uh, professor, a dad, in fact. And uh, my son was about 14 or 15 years old. The kids are starting to get older, which is a bit <laughs> of a worry. And before that, I was doing a David Williamson play at the Ensemble Theatre, Emerald City. Great. Oh, I look forward to seeing it. it. Good luck to you tonight too, Andrew. Thank now, you. there's not going to be any bitterness or competitiveness amongst the four, is there? Yes, oh. there'll be a lot no. of bitterness <laughs> and total competitiveness. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> oh, God, we should you have a room some friendships here. Twenty dollars starting yeah. money. Yeah. We'll see you in the gift shop. You will. Good luck and have fun. If you want. A lot of surprises in hand here. So, question one, if everyone's ready. Question one. According to the proverb, laughter is the best. Andrew. Medicine. Yes. Set at a fictional television station was which Crawford soap opera, Andrew? Box. That's right, of the mid-1970s. Here's a visual question, so take a look at your monitor. What is the character name of the busybody neighbour in this TV, Andrew? Mm, Mrs Jessup. He's so quick. That's right. <laughs> the Sullivans and uh, played by Vivian Gray. Which river is the main setting for the historical miniseries All the Rivers Run? Andrew. Oh, the Murray River. That's right. No, Murray. I told you <laughs> You're proud of your older son, yes, Lorraine? Yes. In which film did Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito play brothers? Lorraine. Twins. Yes, and off the mark. Gift shop time, Andrew. You're buying for your viewer. At the moment, you are $15 ahead. You have $40 to spend here with Nikki, though. Well, a publicity photo speaks a thousand words, Andrew, and your viewer is going to love you if you snap up this wonderful Fuji camera. Together with 20 rolls of film, developing and processing vouchers and accessories, this great photographic package lets you capture all those classic memories. Normally $1,000. Tonight, it's a snap-happy $6 from Rabbit Photo and Sale of the Century. Boy, aren't the memories there? Oh. Bring back some memories for all of you guys. Uh, $6, Andrew, if it's Six. for your viewer. If you decide to buy, you'll still be leading. Yes, well, but that film goes with it, does it? Oh, uh, yes, yes the, the whole lot. Six dollars, oh, five dollars, yeah, one question, all right, five dollars. <laughs> and uh, you're back to 35, so in the lead by 10, Andrew, as we get back to the questions. Beginning with F is what name for the barber of Seville? Laura. Oh, I've forgotten, um, F, uh, uh, um. Uh, and out of time, Figaro. <laughs> That's right. On the tip of your tongue. <laughs> a child or other person well satisfied with being well behaved is known as a goody two what? Lorraine. Shoes. Yes, back to 25. <laughs> Bang game, $10 being placed behind one of our famous faces. Who am I? Born in New South Wales in 1946, I was a cadet journalist on a country newspaper and after becoming a reporter in Sydney, published my own children's paper, Zoot. A radio producer for John Laws and a television journalist for the ABC and for Mike Willisey. I had previously been uh, fed only bread and water at the Ingleburn Army Camp for resisting the Vietnam draft and disobeying my first military order. In 1979, Susan. Simon Townsend. I am Simon Townsend, yes. With Woodrow, Simon Townsend, Wonderworld. Susan, uh, you have the opportunity to pick up $10, and before we have a look at our famous faces, we must thank uh, Rob Austin from TV Week and also Barry Bell, because over the next six nights, there's going to be a lot of memorable faces on the Fame Game board. But tonight, they are... Norman Yim. Family friend of the Sullivans, Norm Baker. Cornelia Francis. The sinister sister Scott, playing on the Young Doctors team on Thursday nights. John Orsick. 70 sex symbol, Detective Mike Giorgio from Cop Shop. Elspeth Ballantyne. Kind Hard Warden from Prisoner, Meg Morrison. Todd Swayer. Todd comes from Larry Warren in Victoria, and Todd's hobbies in include football and basketball, and it's great to have you with us, Todd. Judy McBurney and Tony Alvarez. The lovely couple from Young Doctors, Nurse Livingston, and also Dr Garcia. Gary Day. The intrepid policeman from Homicide. Liz Birch. Dr Chris Randell in The Flying Doctors. And Richard Morgan. Cheeky Terry Sullivan, your brother, Susan. So which of our famous faces would you like? Well, I think I'd better stay loyal to my family, my brother. OK, here's Richard. Susan, your view is going to bed down in style with this luxurious starfish blue bed linen, including two queen-size quilt sets and lampshades. Value $270 from Linen House.
Nice prize for your viewer, Susan. Andrew leading on 35, and we'll be back in just a moment with more of the Sullivans around the South. Sale on a very special first night of this, the Battle of the TV Classics, and you as a viewer at home can win some great prizes. And Lorraine and Paul, your viewers' names are on the screen at the moment. So, Paul, this is your round. Okay. We try. We try. <laughs> Good luck. A hit song for Kenny Rogers in 1980 was Coward of the Watts. Lorraine. Wild. No, Coward of the County. Oh, yes. <laughs> the first life member of the VFL was which footballer and coach with the given names Ronald Dale? Paul. Barass. Yes, there you go, Barass. Fame game, $15 being added to the board. Who am I? Born in the United States, I served in the Merchant Marine and the Marine Corps before trying my hand at professional boxing. A former labourer, bartender and fancy cake decorator, I qualified as a chiropractor before migrating to Australia, where I continue my love of boxing as a referee and TV commentator. A Paul. Gus Mercurio. Gus Mercurio, correct, for the father of Paul. I couldn't imagine him as a, a fine cake decorator for some reason. <laughs> Paul, you have the opportunity once again to pick from our famous faces. Who would you like? Uh, Elspeth Ballantyne, please. Good luck. Here's Elspeth. And there's $10 going on to your score. And sharing the lead with Andrew on 35. So Andrew and Paul on 35, Lorraine and Susan on 20. Fast money. We're putting 30 seconds up on the clock. And your time starts now. An American sitcom was Petticoat Watts. Junction. Andrew. Junction. Yes, uh, Superman Sorry. is Andrew. Clark Kent. Yes, uh, hit of 1934 was the song on the good ship Watts. Andrew. Lollipop. Yes, uh, who is Frank Spencer's wife and some mother? Lorraine. Betty. Yes, a uh, daytime soapy is the young and the Watts. Andrew. Restless. Yes, uh, born Arnold Dorsey was singer Ingeborg. Oh, hunger, hunger, dick. Yes, a uh, popular lifestyle program is Healthy, Wealthy Ands. Andrew. Wise. Yes, whom did Dodd Lane nickname Moonface? Lorraine. Bert Newton. That's correct. And Andrew, you're leading after the fast money. You're on $60. Hey, a good get with Superman, too. The question was, Superman is disguised as which reporter? Clark Kent. Uh, you have the opportunity to buy here $25 up your sleeve, and here's Nikki. Well, who needs the boys from Cop Shop? With this fully installed security system, your viewer will be so well protected, they won't have to like, rely on the lights of the boys in blue. Including a dialer, a remote duress panic button, two detectors, and one year's monitoring maintenance, this security system will leave the boys in blue with nothing to do. Normally $1,500 tonight, it's just $9.00 from MSS Alarm Services and Sale of the Century. Fine, outstanding members of the force here. Yes. Andrew, you are in the lead by $25. All we want is $9, less than two questions. Ooh, I don't know. Maybe yeah, they've, buy it, Andy. Buy maybe they've got a dog. Going once. <laughs> maybe they've got a dog. Going twice. Oh, I'm going to leave it. Going, going three times. I don't times. know their house. You're I'm not sorry, buy. home viewers, but what can I do? I want to win this, but I'll get you more presents. No sale. Me. I think what he's saying is he's not going to buy. <laughs> no <laughs> sale. So Andrew stays in the lead on $60. Viewers question, uh, by what name was John Merrick better known? Uh, John Merrick, and we'll tell you after this break. Question by what name is John Mary Cutanan? He was known as the Elephant Man. Now, on our game here, Susan and Andrew. Andrew, you're leading on 60. Susan, 25. Here are your viewers' names. They're the people you're playing for at home. And, Andrew, I'm sure they can understand uh, your, well, dilemma you had there in the gift shop. It was so. a dilemma. Forgive me, but I'm going to make it up because I'm going to win the, uh, the <laughs> jackpot. Listen to it, will here we go. Round three. The first Australian pop song to make the US charts was I Remember You, sung by Frank Lorraine. Uh, I, I feel. Yes, in 1962. I tell it like it is was the catchphrase of recently deceased US sportscaster Howard Who. With the, with the wig. Um, <laughs> has he got the wig, Laura? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go sell. Howard Go sell. <laughs> pokies. We're going to play the Pokies, Andrew, and you have the opportunity to do that. You're $25 ahead of both Lorraine and Paul. You can play for your viewer and pick up $5,000 for them, or maybe this prize. Andrew, your viewer is going to go tropo. It's a holiday to Cairns for two with five nights accommodation in an oceanfront room, including a delicious buffet breakfast. Together with a trip to the Barrier Reef, this great holiday also includes economy airfare. And it's valued at $3,608 from Holiday Inn Cairns, Qantas the Australian Airline and Sale of the Century. Andrew, the other machines will have uh, the Take uh, 5 card, which means you take $5 off whoever you're playing against, and uh, also the $15 to go back on your score. Mm, Cairns is so beautiful. One in four chance of picking up five grand too. So would you like to play for your viewer? It'll cost you $15. Still in the lead, you're on $45. Hearts, spades, clubs or diamonds. Which machine would you like Nicky to play for I'm you? I'm a romantic kind of guy. 
Hearts. Going for the hearts? Over, oh. the, over this way, Lovey. Oh, We're going to blow the hearts machine. Romance. Good luck. Good luck, yeah, Andrew. Or good go. luck for your viewer at home. Yeah. And it is the $15 going back onto your score. So you're back to 60 Where does the money? Spades. Aha. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So for the gardener. There you go. $5,000. The score's now Andrew 60 Lorraine and Paul on 35 and Susan on 25 Back to the questions. Name a television series which has starred James Garner. Rock right. and That's right, yeah. Or Nichols or Maverick were the other ones. A champion of which sport was Wendy Turnbull? Lorraine. Tennis. Yes. And fame gain, $25 in the wild card being added. The last opportunity to pick some money up off the boards. Who am I? Born in Auckland in 1910 and dying in 1959, I came to Australia at 21. I successfully auditioned as a vocalist for Radio 2GB and within six months had my own breakfast show where my breezy irreverent style won me wide popularity. For ten years I was the best known figure in broadcasting and by Andrew. Jack Davey. I am Jack Davey, yes. Jack Davey. Hi ho everybody, was his catchphrase. Oh. Andrew, you have the opportunity to pick from the famous faces to possibly pick up 25 or 15. I don't think so I've got who would too you much like? of a choice, have I? She'd probably tear my eyes out if I didn't pick Liz Birch. <laughs> oh, yes, here we go with Liz. And there's $25, taking you up to $85. And where was the rest of the money, Nikki? Well, the wild card was with Norman Yem and John Orsic had the $15. That's where the money was. And Lorraine, I hoped you were going to pick there because you have a close affiliation with the Fame Game Board, don't you? Yes, the very, very, very first program. And I was the, up in that corner and I was the very, very first face picked. To ever be turned many, around. Many, many years ago. <laughs> so there you go on sale. Andrew, 85, Lorraine, 45, Paul, 35 and Susan on 25. All we have is the man minute and that's next. Presenting the Sullivans in our grand final series of this, the Battle of the TV Classic, starting Friday night. We're about to find out. Andrew looking good on 85, but anything can happen in the Mad Minute. Good luck all. 60 seconds up on the clock, and your time starts. Now, ice skating champions are Torval and who? Andrew. Dean. Yes, uh, the thylacine is also called the Tasmanian Watts. Tiger. Paul, yes. Uh, Heather who stars in Melrose Play. Lorraine. Uh, uh, lock Lear. Yes, uh, to the British. What are you doing if having a snog? Andrew. Kissing. Yes, according to the nursery rhyme, Simple Simon met her what? Susan. Yes, in which American city is the Rockefeller Center? Uh, Lorraine. New York. Yes, a scene in the film The Color Purple was opera who? Susan. Opera. I know. Oh, Winfrey. Yes, a champion in which sport is Australian David Hooks? Lorraine. Hooks. Um, uh, um, oh, golf. Cricket. What was the name of the Lone Ranger's horse? Andrew. Tonto. Silver. Oh. How many inches make one yards? Paul. 36. Yes, sir. the neighbour in Dennis the Menace was Mr. Who, beginning Wilson. Susan with W. What did Maxwell Smart call his boss? Susan. Chief. Yes, a popular ABC sitcom is Birds of a Watts. Lorraine. Heather. Yes, a sometimes vigorous children's game is Stacks on the what? On the mill. And Andrew, you've won the game. Congratulations, everyone in there giving it a go, though. Andrew on $90. Uh, Victor, well done. Great game. Great sports, everyone. Well done to you all. And Lorraine, look, you've won for your home view of the $1,000 cash, so well done. It was oh, a great sure. game. Nice having you with us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Paul, you've also won $1,000 cash for your home viewer, and great game to you too. Thanks having you with us also, Paul. And Susan, you've won $1,000 cash and the bed linen, so that's $1,270, so they'll be right. They certainly will. And Susan, Paul and Lorraine, for your viewers at home, we have this gift. Looks like Ada's kiosk has really expanded with the years. Your viewers have won this classic video and CD collection, chock a block with movie and music greats like the classic TV series The Avengers, starring John Steed and the leather clad Emma Peel. It's from Polygram. Really was a great game, so that's for all the viewers. And Lorraine, Paul, and Susan, unfortunately, we won't see you again. Good luck for the future to all of you, and uh, we hope you'll accept this gift as a token of our appreciation. Our classic TV celebrities will never be pressed for time when they're wearing this superb Le Grand Classique watch. Swiss made with a gold plated bracelet, this classic watch features scratch proof sapphire crystal that's right on the dot for style. It's from Longines. And they'll each receive the latest sale of the century board game from Grant and Andrews, plus our 18 karat gold pin from Germani Jewelry, and sale of the century. Congratulations. Hey, that's a great score there, Andrew. Oh, it was a bit of a turn up. Won't have beaten the grand final, but let's go shopping. Come on through here, because there's a lot of things we want to get through. The Audi 80, that's the car at the end of it. Sorry, come for a wander around here. Not giving you too many directions no, here, are we? Easily now, lit, though. Seeing as you won, your viewer has also picked up this great prize. 
Tonight's winning viewer can catch up with all those classic stars of the small screen on this 34 centimeter color television. Featuring a 44 channel tuner and on screen display, this stylish television comes with a remote control to bring out the best performance from all those classic TV dramas. It's from NEC Home Electronics. So they've picked up that, and also they've picked up this great prize too, Andrew. Yes, you can make all of life's most pleasant experiences just that little bit easier with the new ANZ Visa Pay Card. An evening on the town can be looked after from start to finish with no money worries to hold you back. The Pay Card combines the best features of a credit card, debit card and a savings account to make banking and spending much more convenient and loads more fun. You're free to relax and enjoy the finer things in life while your bills are paid automatically and you can use the pay card in over 170 countries throughout the world. And tonight's four lucky viewers will each receive a $1,000 Visa pay card from ANZ and Sale of the Century. Well done. Well, there you go. Yes, going into the grand final. So your viewer is absolutely wrapped, I'm sure, Andrew. Uh, in total, I think $2,489 Ooh, is yeah. what I've picked up. So you've done very well. Of course, Monday night we're going to give to one lucky viewer this great Audi. Classic stands for outstanding quality, and this Audi AD 2.6 is first class in its automotive field. Offering the versatility of manual transmission, plus standard airbag safety features, this state-of-the-art Audi AD boasts the smoothest of on-road performances. With wood grain trim and other luxury extras, this classic vehicle is valued at $49,020 plus on-road costs. Audi, advancement through technology. So there you go, there's the Audi 80, the V6, giving that away next week. And we must thank everyone else, so come on through for helping us out with the Sullivans. Thanks, Mum. Thanks, Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow night we have number 96, and who's playing, Nikki? We've got Jeff Kevin, Johnny Lockwood, Elaine Lee and Candy Raymond, and the number is 0055-60272. So make sure you phone in and enter, and who knows, on Monday night you could be driving away with the Audi, you never know. Well done, Andrew, we'll see you Friday night, and we'll see all you guys somewhere. <laughs> 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 we we'll look forward to seeing you Thanks. tomorrow night, so until then, take care. See you tomorrow, bye-bye. See ya. What does Murphy Brown think of Dr. Quinn, medicine woman? Find out tonight, 8 o'clock, when Jane Seymour is special guest on Murphy Brown. Coming up next, Sybil. This is a Grundy television production for the Nine Network Australia. Peter Smith speaking.